The number one question a lot of people have when they start to compile a sales forecast is how can you predict how many units you're going to sell or how many hours you're going to sell? Well, you need to make an educated guess and that's all it is. It's a guess, but it's the best guess that you can give. Um, you could look at past data if you already have a business and you've introduced new products or services in the past. You could look at that data, see how it started off and how it grew over the years. If it's a brand new business, you could look at other similar businesses um, of a similar size and investment that you're going to make and see how many units or hours they provided at first. Um, you just have to make the best educated guess as you can. If you're planning to put money into marketing, um, and other streams where you can get new business, obviously weigh that into your prediction or your guess. So this is product A and according to our research, we're confident that we can sell two product A a month. Um, and through our marketing and other means, we think that could go up to three after two months and then four and then go up by one every two months. Okay, so January, February, two per month, then three per month, four per month, five per month, six per month, seven per month, and so on. It could be that in year two, we are planning to uh, put a lot more money into marketing and we're confident it will then go up by two per month instead of one um, every two months. So let's say it goes to nine, then 11, 13, 15, 17. And then for whatever reason, we feel we're going to slow down sales in year three and I'm just, I'm just making this up as I go okay so that's our sales projection with units sold or hours provided we now need to put the cost per unit um, so that's for one unit doesn't matter how many units sold we have in this column it's cost per unit so say these products that we're selling are ten pound per unit Let's highlight F and G four. Go right down to the bottom of your template. Right click, click format sales, click number and currency. Obviously change this to dollars or whatever currency symbol you use. Um, I'm British, so this is the British pound. So 10 pound, 10 pound. Let's drag that down. It could be that our supplier for this product has told us that in uh, 12 months time they're planning to raise the cost of this product by 25 pence or 25 cents. So we could then put in 10, 25, like so. And then it could also be that our supplier has informed us that if we're buying more than 30 of these products from them that they'll give us a discount and um, so we could then put nine pound fifty say from 30 products onwards and there we have it that's cost per unit done i'm making this up as i go along obviously you will have actual facts and research and um, that will influence these numbers that you're putting in right our sale price let's say we're planning to sell these products are 18 pound once again highlight this column right click format sales currency okay 18 18 now with the rise in cost in year two from our supplier which price goes to 10 pound 25 we may want to add that to our price that we're selling the product at so we can change that to 825 1825 
bring that down and then perhaps we'll bring that back to 18 pounds once we're buying more in bulk and get getting a better wholesale price now your revenue is nothing to do with profit your revenue is just how much you're getting from selling the product so how much a customer is paying you um, so in January we're selling two units at 18 pounds so two times 18 is 36 so the formula we need to put in this box is equals the sale price which is h4 in this case times units sold click enter and we have 36 we can drag that down the formula which be copied all the way down like so so you can see January year two we're selling nine gives us a revenue of 164 pounds 25 pence that's nine times 18 pound 25 our gross profit is our revenue minus the cost of sale so if we're selling a product that's our revenue minus the cost of the unit or units if we're providing a service it could be that and we are own a, a financial advisor say then our gross profit could be the revenue which is price per hour times the hours minus perhaps a commission that you'll be paying your financial advisors that are working under you as that would be the direct cost involved in providing the service so in this column our gross profit is our revenue minus open a bracket the cost per unit times unit sold close bracket click return so our gross profit in January for selling two units is 16 pound or 16 dollars and if we just look at this for a sec we have a revenue of 36 pound we're selling two at 18 pound which gives us 36 pound revenue and we're paying 10 pound each times two so we paid 20 pound we made 36 pound 16 pound profit we can just drag this down now and then our gross profit percentage click equals click on your gross profit figure divide by our revenue click enter format sales percentage we don't need to have decimal places zero decimal places is fine click OK so our gross profit margin or gross profit percentage is 44% we can drag that down so we stick at 44% right down to December year 2 where it then goes up to 47% so our margins actually increase in year 3 this is going to have to go on to a third video please click on the link and continue watching thank you